facing. Steve Quell joins us uh, about 20 minutes into the next hour. I appreciate Steve Quell uh, joining us. Again, he's been a syndicated radio host, been on, on air for about 25 years, best-selling author, one of the first major survivalists and preppers, Steve Quell. Dot com Frequent guest, of course, on Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie. SteveQuell.com uh, is his site. Uh, wow, Steve, there's so much to cover. I just threw out a lot. I want to cover the entire gambit with you. But first, the ISIS, the terror threats, the, the arrogance to use the terror that they brought in and then take our rights. I mean, this is so transparent. Uh, as you know, a big push last week by the Smithsonian and the federal government and NASA admitting that... Uh, the, the jet aerosol is from the engines and from the fuel and is terraforming the planet. Uh, admitting chemtrails last week, uh, admitting fluoride's killing people this week. Uh, I mean, these are government announcements. Uh, just a lot of bizarreness going on, good and bad. Uh, so much happening with the stock markets. Uh, the year nothing works. Stocks, bonds, and cash went nowhere this year. That's a CNBC report. Uh, Czech president talks about the EU with an organized plan to implode the countries. Uh, I mean, it is just an incredible time to be alive right now. And obviously, next year, most analysts agree, is just going to get more insane. Uh, Steve Quell to break down the real state of the planet, not just the State of the Union, uh, joins us. Steve Quell, thank you for coming on. Well, thank you, Alex. And uh, let's just uh, draw everyone's attention to the fact now the voluminous evidence that the United States is the funding source behind ISIS. It is the provisioning source behind ISIS. Obviously, we've been caught with our hands in the cookie jar of incredible evil, incredible terror. And it, it, it's got to strike a chord, Alex, in every American's heart that we are the ones that are funding the most atrocious acts of inhumanity that have even been uh, described in the annals of the Dark Ages. So, you know, I, I personally have watched people deny, 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 but Vladimir Putin is telling people the truth. When he said, don't you see what you've done or, or see what you've done, the idea is simply this, is, and this is what I think everyone misses, is that with the entity that's in the White House, we now are seeing the full-scale implementation and Islamic takeover of the United States. Now, remember this, and I think it's important, Alex, as you and I have detailed. After World War II, and, and this is important, uh, the Nazis dissembled, if you will. They scattered throughout the world. We brought a whole bunch of them in under Operation Paperclip. And for the record, Alex, you and I were the first two to talk about Marcus Wolf, Nastasi, and, and uh, Primakov setting up uh, the FEMA data control banks, if you will, and then which led to Facebook and all the other self, if you will, erecting intelligence dossiers. But this is all the revival of Nazism, and it never left the world. You and I have talked excessively in our early years on talk radio of who banked it, who, who the banking families of the United States, banking families of Europe, even George Bush's uh, 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 father and grandfather involved with the Nazis. But here's the important thing. Why all of a sudden, I don't know, have you had time to watch uh, Hunting Hitler on the National Geographic Channel? Uh, yes, and I even know Tim Kennedy, who's the uh, Special Forces individual out there, and I'm not at liberty to say some of the things I was told about the show, but clearly they already knew where, I mean, Tim didn't know, but, but Bear of the CIA and others already knew where they were going, what they were doing, because that's been known by the CIA since then, because they were the ones that let the Nazis go there, and that's even been declassified. Absolutely. Now, people have got to ask themselves, why all of a sudden, with that, you know, 70 years or 70 plus years of a total lockout, and obviously the FBI's files on Hitler, I mean, they knew where he was every step of the way. They knew where Mengele was. They knew where some of the, the people that basically don't even know these names, but the Germans in their high technology, in their experiments on humanity, Dr. Mengele, Mengele's twinning, Mengele's cloning. The fact is, is that our CIA has been, uh, from day one under Dulles, pretty much, uh, Ellen Dulles, D-U-L-L-E-S, has been pretty much, if you will, a Nazi 
uh, import, and now we've got the situation going where we're seeing racial purity. And how many times, Alice, have you talked about everything from Margaret Sanger, Planned Parenthood, you know, uh, the whole idea of the Nazi society for racial purity. Now we're seeing entire groups of people marked for destruction by ISIS, and, and that I promise you, whoever is heading up ISIS, the real heads of it, are just laughing in the face and let's of expand world. on that, because eugenics came out of England and the United States. Hitler was a creation of that, so it was just bringing home people they agreed with. You have to understand, all the real eugenicists were, quote, liberals, and that's how they sold the idea of the government's going to take care of you, but it's really so they can run your life and dominate what you do. And so the 36,000 Nazis brought here on record were used to head up NASA, every major federal agency, you name it, from behind the scenes. They'd be there 20, 30, 40 years as the shadow directors with other directors in front of them because they had so much dirt on them. They fully controlled them, and the Germans would follow orders. They're well known for that and are very smart and good at organizing. You know, that's the cliche, but it's certainly true. And so from scientific developments, you name it, that all came here. The shadow government went underground in 1947, used the Nazis as the excuse to keep it all secret because you couldn't tell the public. And so now we have this breakaway civilization they've built, and more and more they're dribbling out what they've constructed. Here's a question. Why do you think they're admitting, uh, okay, we shipped the Nazis uh, to South America? Okay, yeah, we are spraying you and changing the atmosphere. Just trust us. It's for your own good. Uh, I mean, th th they're just coming out with more and more while simultaneously telling people it doesn't exist. Well, I think the answer to that is the Illuminati are flat-out Satanists. They are flat-out Luciferian worshipers. Uh, Hitler, the early years of Hitler in Munich, uh, basically talks about even his words when the Prince of Hell entered him. Everybody surrounding Hitler was in an occult, if you will, the higher-ups in the SS, which, by the way, stood for Black Sun, Schwartz and Sonnen, and forgive my German, but the point being... By the way, that's all been admitted. That was in the British wartime secret reports. They would get in the SS ca castle and try to channel the devil into Hitler, and they had the, the uh, black magic Tibetan monks there. I mean, they were whacked out of their minds. They would cut SS officers' heads off and try to portend the future looking into their eyes well i think that that the idea of now it breaking i it, let me share this if, if people understood the sophistication of human cloning and a twinning back even in 1946 47 when mangala was both in argentina brazil and every place else around the globe if, if people would study this history you've got to understand they who control history control the future and Alex, in, in the book I've just written, that it's gone wildfire, and this is critical, Empire Beneath the Ice, how the Nazis won World War II, you cannot prove outside of uh, all the empiric evidence that that statement's not true. You just mentioned our, de our defense and aerospace industry, all of them, Bell, Bell Aerospace, NASA, Martin Marietta, all the sophisticated top Nazis in the world. But one of the most famous ones was called Hans... Kamler, K -A -M -M -L -E Stay there. Tell us about that. I want to get back into cloning, too, because they were cloning rabbits back in the 40s, but they suppressed that. They're cloning everything, folks. Again, advanced technology. Stay with us. Coming up when we start the next hour, I'm going to open the phones up if you've got questions or comments for myself or Steve Quayle about anything that's happening in the world, whether it's Donald Trump or ISIS being openly run by the criminals that have hijacked our government, the economy, whatever the case is you'd like to discuss, we'd like to hear from you. The toll-free number to join us is 800, I may even go to calls next segment, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Steve Quayle uh, is our guest. He's multi-time best-selling uh, author. His newest book is Empire Beneath the Ice. We'll have him back on another occasion to just get into that specifics. You can find out more at stevequayle.com. Now, before I go any further... We are funded by TV viewers and radio listeners that want hardcore information out there and believe in what we're doing or who just believe in folks that promote the First Amendment. You know, we're here to defend uh, the First Amendment. It's under attack, not just the Second Amendment. I have news on that as well. Uh, very serious gun restrictions uh, being attempted through legislation in Congress now and at the state level and also extrajudicially by suing gun manufacturers. So the next big offensive on our guns is here, folks. The alarm is being raised. But 
I noticed I was looking at statistics, and I've got Wall Street Journal articles, uh, you name it here. Government grabs unused gift cards, billions a year, unused. Billions in gift cards go unspent. Again, Wall Street Journal. And I was thinking, why don't we just say 15% off with anybody using a gift card when you go to InfoWarsStore.com? And by the way, folks, there's you know, they're all just basically credit cards, so it doesn't matter. Everyone can get the 15% off. That's really what it is. It's a store-wide sale for 15%. And we're going to run it. That's on top of a bunch of specials that are running. 15% off store-wide. But in an attempt to get people to actually <clears throat> dig through stuff and use that old card before it stops working, usually in about a year, year and a half, they, the, the government just takes the money. Legally, the companies aren't allowed to do it. Why not use those gift cards? Why not dig through there and then get Survival Shield X2, the good halogen that blocks the bad halogens and has done so much for my health and you've heard the rave reviews? Why not get some Super Mill Vitality? Why not get some Oxy Powder and flush out your intestines? Uh, why not? I mean, th th these are really the very best products that we could come up with. Non-GMO heirloom seeds, the widest selection you'll find anywhere. We set out to carry all the major quality brands and then have the lowest prices, InfoWarsStore.com. Now's the time to get ready for that spring garden. you got to get ready months before. And you support the broadcast. Hundreds and hundreds of great items. By the way, there are a few of the Hillary for Prison shirts left. It is limited edition. We're not making any more. A few sizes are left of those limited edition. I wish I wouldn't have said it was limited edition because it's such a hot shirt now. And there's this effect where all these uh, beautiful ladies are out on the campaign trail for Donald Trump wearing the shirt. That trend started when uh, Biggs went to Dallas wearing one and it got a bunch of attention. So now there's all these different, uh, all these different Trump babes. And, and in fact, I think you guys could just look it up. Uh, you know, Trump babe uh, in Michigan wearing the shirt. There's a great photo of that. More and more of that's happening. A lot of stuff at InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com. And your purchases make it all possible. Also, we're running this through to the first of the year. Six months free to the InfoWars Nightly News. And so it is your purchase that makes this possible. And when you get a PrisonPlanet.tv membership, normally it's $5.95 a month. Normally when you get a year, you get like two months off the price. This is six months off. We've never done this. You get it half price and 20 people can use each membership. And that just helps us pay uh, for the bandwidth. It's, it's on Boxy, Roku, cable systems, your smart TVs, everything. It works basically on everything. And we just keep adding more and more to it. So prisonplanet.tv, and it is your purchases that fund this vital operation. I cannot stress that enough. I cannot thank you enough. And then we become a platform to bring everybody on here from Ron Paul to Matt Drudge to Donald Trump to Steve Quayle to you name it. And to folks that are successfully suing the TSA and the naked body scanners. We're on the march the globalist technocracy is in a lot of trouble, but because it's been able to take our tax money globally, operate the secret under national security, we don't know how big the monstrosity is. And Steve Quell gets into some pretty wild stuff. But I remember him talking about cloning 20 years ago, and I had BBC articles that were saying, oh, we've cloned humans, but we kill them in utero, in the, in the uterus, in utero. And then I remember reading articles in like 1998 about human clones in the utero of cows. But they changed the human genetics 1% or 2% with chimpanzee or cow or pig. Usually cow or pig because then it doesn't get rejected. They grow them in pigs as well, humans. Is there a debate about do they have rights? Where is the no clone testing on your bottles of uh, drugs or whatever? See, there's not even debate about it. While we're worried about puppy dogs and stuff being tested on, which I'm against as well, or, or guinea pigs, there's not even a discussion about from Costa Rica to Hong Kong to, 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 to Beijing, China. These are some of the worst places. Massive human cloning going on, and they just call it embryonic stem cells. Just like we told you 20 years ago, they're selling baby parts at Planned Parenthood. And the word was sometimes keeping the partial births alive longer so they could be dissected. That's now coming out at some of the abortuaries. You see how you couldn't believe it, but it, we were right. I told folks five years ago that they were actually heating hospitals in England, as I was told by an insider, with baby parts. Now it came out in the news two years ago. 
you cannot make this stuff up. And I think that's one problem we have is that the, the admitted fantastical stuff, like humans that have been genetically changed, they quote, don't have rights and don't get rejected, that are then grown in not artificial uteruses, but in large mammal uteruses. This is what we know is going on. Thousands of pharmaceutical crops with live viruses in them, uh, merging with plants and animals, uh, frankenfish being put in the ocean. I mean, it's, it, it's so incredible, it's unbelievable. 